Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Blu-ray edition of The Haunting. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, at Movie Guy 365 Okay, The Haunting is now out on Blu-ray. It is part of the Paramount's Presents line that uh, the studio has been releasing on Blu-ray, and this is the 10th entry into that particular line. And, you know, as far as the movie itself goes, I always felt that the trailer really just sold me on wanting to see this movie. Yeah, the director of Speed and Twister doing a haunted house story was, you know, a little bit kind of far-fetched, and ultimately it had a great atmosphere to it. The house itself, the set designs were really nice. I just feel overall that the story was kind of a letdown. Uh, it really, you know, and I'm not the biggest Lily Taylor fan who's kind of our protagonist in the film, and I think kind of her performance kind of a little turned me off on the on the whole thing but you have like Liam Neeson and Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson and it's a great cast. I just think ultimately the execution just wasn't there. But it definitely kind of ranks really high as far as audio goes, which we'll talk about in just a moment. All right. So, we're going to do a quick unboxing and then we'll talk about the picture quality and the audio. Okay, we have the latest edition from the Paramount Presents line The Haunting on Blu-ray, and as you can see, it's got semi pretty much the poster art from the original. And then we have the back cover and the spine. And then when we open it up, we have the actual poster art. So looks pretty nice. And the interior, same pretty much. And then we have the artwork in there with a little bit of writing. So, okay, now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. The Haunting has a 235 aspect ratio, and I have to say, for a movie of its age, made pretty much in the late 90s, it definitely has a very nice filmic look to it. Uh, grain is appropriately used throughout the movie. It's never obtrusive or blotchy, and it definitely holds true to its uh, uh, roots as far as the filmmaking process goes. It looks good, and this new Blu-ray is definitely something to really appreciate across the spectrum. I think that the overall picture quality is really nice. It looks pristine. It has a great filmic look to it, as I mentioned earlier, but the colors are also really rendered really well. Uh, everything from the interiors of the house, uh, skin tones, they look really natural and very warm. Uh, the clothing and the other special effects that are laid throughout the movie also come out very nicely. Level of detail is really good level there. Uh, the house itself so just has a nice ornate structure. It's a great look. Uh, the set pieces are pretty phenomenal here and how they uh, come across on Blu-ray is pretty nice. I think uh, this, despite being just a 1080p image, I think it squeezed every bit of detail out of it that it could possibly do, and it just looks really good. Uh, I, I feel black levels are very strong. I didn't really have any real issues with elevation. It looked pretty phenomenal, in my opinion. I think next to what we would get on the 4K side of things with HDR grading, I think it looks as good as it's going to. And I think it's a really nice overall use. Sprinkled throughout the nighttime scenes and dark interiors, they come across very well. I think picture quality wise, The Haunting is top notch. I think Paramount did a really good job and I think you'll appreciate the movie even more. For the audio presentation, The Haunting supports a Dolby True HD 5.1 mix. And remembering the DVD version of this movie, it had a lot to live up to in the audio department. The DVD had such a thunderous bass to it. All those creaks and groans really came across very strong. That low end really kind of just vibrated the entire home theater back then. And I'm happy to say the Blu-ray edition is up to the task, equally so. I think it's a very strong presentation. Uh, once again, the uh, low end, the LFE, really stands out here. Those thumps, those bangs, uh, you know, those haunting sounds, they really come across. They're very strong, very epic in feel, and I think you'll be very happy if you remember the previous DVD version of the movie. The center channel with dialogue comes through clean and clear. 
you know, even during those chaotic moments, and it sounds very nice. The front speakers, they handle a lot of the action throughout the movie. They do so very well. It's very seamless integration between the fronts and the center. Everything, you know, when it's moving across the screen, it definitely uh, does so appropriately. The rear speakers, it handles a lot of the musical cues, the action, the ambience, those little creaks and groans of the house. And when action really kicks in, it definitely makes use of it. They're very active and it's a very good overall use of those rear speakers. And once again, the LFE is, I feel, one of the stars of the show here. Those thumps, those booms, it really comes across. I think you'll be very happy. The audio mix on The Haunting is extremely strong and absolutely worth a listen. For the picture quality, I'm going to give The Haunting on Blu-ray a solid A score. I think it's a beautiful version put out by Paramount Pictures. Their Paramount Presents line is really, you know, showcasing these movies, giving them the best possible quality on Blu-ray. The Haunting looks great. It has a nice filmic look and it retains all its natural color and it has a nice little pop to it. For the audio mix, I'm going to give this one an A+. I think it's a very strong audio presentation. The Dolby True HD 5.1 really is a, a powerful kind of audio mix. Uh, the, the room fills up nicely with all sorts of sounds and sights, and I think you'll be very happy with the audio mix here. So that is my review of The Haunting on Blu-ray. Let me know in the comments section below if you picked up the Blu-ray and what did you think of the presentation. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.